Good time everyone. We are glad to see you on our channel. Noah Lyles is an American professional track and field athlete specializing in the sprints. He holds personal bests of 9.86 seconds for the 100 meters and 19.50 seconds for the 200 meters. Lyles holds the 300 meters indoor world best with a time of 31.87 seconds from the 2017 USA Indoor Championships. From June 18 through June 27, the nation's best athletes competed at Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon, for a spot on the 2021 Olympic team. As a result, Lyles won a ticket to the Tokyo Olympics, which will be held from July 23 to August 8, 2021. Noah Lyles was born July 18, 1997 in Gainesville, Florida. He was a gymnast as a youth and started track and field at 12 years of age. His parents Keisha Kane and Kevin Lyles competed in track and field at Seton Hall University. He attended T.C. Williams High School in Alexandria, Virginia. His zodiac sign is Cancer. Before starting his career, Lyles grew out of depression in middle school, and as a kid, he was chained to the breathing machine as he had asthma. Noah represented the United States at the 2014 Youth Olympic Games where he won a gold medal in the 200 meters. In January 2015, Lyles cleared 2.03 meters, 6 feet 7 plus 3 quarters in, in the high jump as a high school junior. In November 2015, he was named 2015 High School Boys Athlete of the Year by Track and Field News. In March 2016, Noah won the 200 meters at the New Balance Nationals Indoor. In April 2016, Lyles won both the 100 meters and 200 meters at the 2016 Arcadia Invitational, setting new meeting records of 10.17s and 20.48s respectively. In June 2016, Lyles won the 100 meters in 10.08s at the USA Junior Championships. In July 2016, Noah Lyles went to the US Olympic Trials to compete for spots on the Olympic team in the 100 meters and the 200 meters. He failed to advance from his first 100 meters heat, but in the 200 meters he won his semi-final and then placed fourth in the final with a time of 20.09s, breaking a 31-year-old national high school record. Though he didn't qualify for the 2016 Summer Olympics, he qualified for the 2016 World U-20 Championships where he was a double gold medalist, taking the 100 meters and 4 times 100 m relay titles. Lyles had committed to compete for the Florida Gators at the University of Florida, but in July 2016, Noah and his younger brother Josephus instead turned professional and signed with Adidas. In November 2016, Noah was again named High School Boys Athlete of the Year for 2016 by Track and Field News. Noah Lyles started 2017 with his first senior national title in the 300 meters at the 2017 USA Indoor Championships in the thin air of Albuquerque, New Mexico, improving the indoor world record by one hundredth of a second to 31.87s. He earned a silver medal in the 4x200-meter relay with Team USA at the 2017 World Relays. Lyles won two meets in the 2017 IAAF Diamond League circuit, winning the final ahead of American champion Amir Webb and world champion Ramil Guliev. However, injuries prevented him from competing much of the season and he missed the 2017 World Championships as a result. Lyles returned to Albuquerque to compete at the 2018 USA Indoor Championships, but in the 60-meter dash instead of the 300 meters. He made it through his first heat while equaling his personal best time of 6.57s, but failed to advance through his semifinal. Having failed to make the national team for the 2018 World Indoor Championships, he turned his focus to preparing for the outdoor season. He opened with a win in the 200 meters at the IAAF Diamond League Doha meet, setting a new personal best with a time of 19.83s. A few weeks later he ran the less common 150 meters at the Adidas Boston Games, winning in a personal best time of 14.77s. He returned to the 200 meters at the IAAF Diamond League in Eugene, winning and improving his personal best time to 19.69s. This time matched the world-leading time set by Clarence Munyai earlier that year. At the 2018 USA Championships he focused on the 100 meters instead, matching the world lead of 9.89s in the semifinal. Mike Rogers had set the world lead a day before in a separate heat, but he did not start in the semifinals. This left Lyle's primary rival to be Ronnie Baker, who had run the 100 meters in 9.78s at the Prefontaine Classic earlier that year. 
but with a wind velocity just over the allowable limit for record purposes, plus 2.4 meters per second. In the final Baker got out a few meters ahead of Lyles out of the blocks, but Lyles started to come back halfway through the race and just passed Baker in the last meter to win in 9.88s, a new world lead and personal best time for Lyles. He became the youngest US champion in the 100 meters since Sam Grady won in 1984. Lyle's world led in the 100 meters would later be beaten by Baker, 9.87s, and then Christian Coleman, 9.79s, but at the Hercules IAAF Diamond League meet in Monaco Lyle's set a new 200 meters world led and personal best time in 19.65s. The time placed him in the top 10 fastest men in the 200 meters of all time. Before that Noah Lyles equaled his personal best and world led at the Athletissima IAAF Diamond League meet to win a greatly anticipated showdown against Michael Norman, who had set the indoor world record in the 400-meter dash earlier that year. Noah went into the IAAF Diamond League final, the Welt Class Zurich, as the favorite. He was again matched up against world champion Ramil Guliev who recently also become European champion, setting a personal best of 19.76s in the process. The two were placed in adjacent lanes and ran evenly through the bend, but Lyles started to pull away on the straight and finished in 19.67s. It was his fourth time under 19.70s in the same season. Only one other individual has been under 19.70s four times in a career, world record holder Usain Bolt who also did it four times during his record-breaking 2009 season. In 2019, Lyles opened the season by running 100 meters races, running a 9.86 world leader in Shanghai on May 18. In his first 200 meter race, at the Pietro Menia Golden Gala meet, he equaled Menia's long standing 1979 world record time running a 19.72. A month later at Athletissima in Lausanne, he dropped his personal best to 19.50 to move into the number 4 position on the all time list. A week later he ran a 9.92100 in Monaco. With the extended schedule in 2019, he ran the US National Championships at the end of July, taking the 200-meter title in 19.78 into a headwind in Des Moines. And in Paris he ran 19.65. From June 18 through June 27, the nation's best athletes competed at Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon, for a spot on the 2021 Olympic team. As a result, Lyles won a ticket to the Tokyo Olympics, which will be held from July 23 to August 8, 2021. So what is Noah Lyles' net worth? It is said that Noah's net worth is estimated to be around $5 million. Similarly, he has a stunning huge house located in Orlando. Furthermore, Noah loves training and trains every time he gets a chance. Similarly, Noah and his brother have a signed contract with Adidas since 2016. The contract is signed for eight years. Although Noah Lyles is one of the fastest men in the world he is well described as being the artistic athlete in the world. Similarly, his bio reads that Noah is an athlete but he is also a singer who has some recordings in Spotify. But don't search Noah Lyles because his songs are known from the name NOJO18. There is no information on Noah Lyles' relationship. There is a rumor that he has been dating a girl for over a year. However, there is no official information regarding Noah Lyles' girlfriend. Likewise, we don't believe Noah Lyles is married because there would be some sign of his wife. And again, he is still young. We sincerely wish the athlete to win a medal at the upcoming Olympic Games in Tokyo. That's all for now. If you liked the video, like it, subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be the first to know about the release of the new video.